Kenya is once again laying into Russia and other powers at the UN Security Council for what Nairobi argues is the abuse of veto threatening world peace. The Council's inability to handle urgent security problems across the world had been an issue of debate lately. Dr. Martin Kimani, Kenya's permanent representative to the United Nations, took issue with the recent Russian veto of a resolution seeking to extend the mandate of the panel of experts on sanctions on North Korea, a team whose tenure had routinely been extended every year for the last 14 years to oversee a sanction regime on the Hamid Kingdom. A common thread in these recent debates is a council's growing incapacity to enforce its resolutions. Madam President, a pivotal aspect of the Security Council's mandate is that its decisions are binding, as stated in Article 25 of the UN Charter. The risk that the 1718 Committee will lose access to its panel of experts' insights diminishes the binding nature of the Council's decisions. This is similarly true. We are closer to a dystopian multipolar order where the veto and the failure to implement the Council's decisions facilitate the spread of weapons of mass destruction, mass atrocities, and violations of national sovereignty and territorial integrity. On this front, there's no better cause than preventing nuclear warfare. A good starting point would be to renegotiate the renewal of the mandate for the panel of experts for the 1718 committee before its expiration on the 30th of April.